So, I'm off from my flight again. I'm in the truck. I need to go to step one, which as you remember from last time is breakfast. But I think I have step zero A or zero B, which is clearing the truck, because this time it's ice. <laughs> It's still kind of blurry for me to see right now. So, I'm going to clear that, then go to breakfast. Alright, so I got breakfast from an undisclosed place again. Because I don't want to infringe on copyright laws, that type of thing. And now it's off to the freeway to be on to the airport. Off to Reading. Hopefully, this time. So kind of weird, I left 10 minutes later than I did for the last time I came out. Still stopped for breakfast, took about the same amount of time, drove the same speed, but I got here at the same time. Don't know why, use cruise control, ride at 65, came right here, still 7.20 when I got here, it's about the same time. So, well, that's a little weird. The cool thing is that my instructor's actually here, so... I don't gotta worry about that this time. Free flight's done, plane's good to go. All I'm waiting on now is the fuel. It's only got half a tank. So, we're gonna go over the flight plan that I made with the instructor while the uh, flight services are filling the plane with fuel for us and off to Reading. All right, so pre-flight's done. Got the flight plan ready to go, we're just getting the plane ready to go, and we have ice. You can see that on top of the wing, which is not good. So, we're going to get water, kind of, kind of rub plane down there. There's ice you can kind of see in there. So we're getting water, we're going to wipe the plane down, get the ice off of it, so we're good to go. Because ice is bad on an airplane. Oh, we're waiting for Ryan. That's the new one, the new plane they just got. I might fly that just for the fun of it. Looks like a pretty interesting plane. Fairly clean. Oh yeah. It's open actually. I don't think that's supposed to be open. Mighty nifty, huh? Pretty fun plane to fly. It's actually pretty nice in this one. So when I get my license, I'll probably fly this one more than any other one. It's just because it's nice and it's also cheaper. Cool. Electronic flaps. Electronic flaps with that lever there. Cool. I like it. Why is it open? Locked. Something to figure out. Well, the plane's not starting. It doesn't like starting on cold mornings or just in the early morning. So, we got this battery mechanic. We're trying to jump it and see what it does. So, the little mini battery didn't work. We've moved up to a car. We're using a full car to jump the plane to see if that works.
back on the ground in Vacaville. Flight back actually only took about 74 minutes, where the flight down actually took 93. And the flight back had a longer route, so I guess we had a bit of a tailwind on the flight back. Pretty cool. It was fun. Three hours added to my flight log. Oh, this is also be pretty cool too. Check this out. This guy landed right behind us at Vacaville. You can actually see him. Uh, one of the Copart Falcons. Here you go. Ooh. Twin. No, not twin. It's a triple. Triplet jet. One day I might fly one of those. That'd be awesome. So anyway, back in Vacaville, we landed. Pretty good flight. No hiccups, no bumps, and everything went good. So I'm gonna go get lunch at another undisclosed place. I'm not gonna tell you where it is for copyright infringement, but I'll tell you this, it would be good. Um, and I'm gonna see if Mike can tell where I was in the on-flight videos that, uh, that I got, because I couldn't give you any commentary. Didn't have any type of onboard video or onboard audio capturing equipment like usual. So see if Mike can figure out where I am and what I was doing at the time. Yeah, that goes. So I was planning to go to Reading with my brother earlier today, but when he went to wake me up, I wasn't really feeling too well, and riding in the back seat of the plane, uh, it pivots around the front seats in all directions. So when you're sitting in the back, as you're going through bumps, you're moving up and down instead of just rotating. So you're back here. And, um, yeah, I get motion sickness. I'm not used to the motion yet. So, feeling bad already, and then riding in the back of the airplane for three hours, it's probably not going to be good. And I didn't want to get even more sick, so I decided not to go. But, while I was home, I, uh, for one thing, I installed my license plate. Took off the temporary one. And then, I'm modifying this cache a little bit. So what I did was, uh, I stuck a wire out the top, so I drilled a little hole, took a wire and coiled it up, and then uh, made a little ball of wire at the end. Let's get it in the light. And then I threw some epoxy in there, and uh, pulled the wire through, and then sealed up the top. So now when I close it up, it's waterproof, and I can, like, turn this wire and like wrap it around a tree or something and here's the rest of it there I'm gonna repaint it green because I found a better place to hide it in a tree that's uh, not close to here oh I'm walking over there but it's in a tree that's uh, close by but um, you know not walking distance so I'm gonna put that back together paint it green go out hide the last one for the event tomorrow and then uh, and then I got to go to work later, so I'm going to paint that right now. We are back at the airport again. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're all fine. Cool. Get fuel, yada yada. Yeah. So I never told them why we're at the airport again. Well. Unlock. Yes, there it goes. Sometimes these locks don't work. So why are we here? Because once I got home, I reached in my pocket and realized I still had the keys to the airplane. My bad. So I have to bring them back. And there he goes. You can kind of see him. Is that CHP? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's where you park. There's the CHP plane again. Probably not the CHP plane again. Thank you for putting it in this tree. Just a bunch of sticks.
it is hidden. So, that's good. Now we're going back home again.